What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another mod pack Minecraft, all the mods, a hardcore Minecraft playthrough. My name is Joshua GG, and I am excited because I've done some research and figured out finally what those meteors are for. <laughs> Meteorites are basically for this right here, which means we need to go find one of them. And I believe, if I actually read this, welcome to Applied Energist uh, Energistics 2. Applied Energistics 2, or AE2 for sure, is an incredibly versatile digital storage mod, allowing for extremely efficient storage and all sorts of automation capabilities to greatly augment your modded Minecraft experience from as early as you want to very end game, to the very end game. To get started with the AE2, you will need to find an important resource for the mod known as Certus Quartz. Just like Amethyst, you will find Certus Quartz crystals that you can mine uh, that you can mine for Certus Quartz dust and crystals. However, these can only be found inside of meteorites found around the overworld. To find a meteor, you need to start out by making a charger. Interesting enough, um, I'm curious what charger's for. So that's just. Uh, five iron ingots and two copper. So let's go ahead and go grab that stuff and we will see what we can do here. One, two, three, four, five, one, two. And that's gonna be one, that right there, and then that right there, and then charger. And then I assume the charger, okay, cool. Interestingly enough, so we'll just go to quest, we'll do this. Oh, we got another head that we can plop down. Actually, I'm gonna put the uh, player heads right here. And then all the uh, boss heads right there. If I get more boss heads, I don't know how many boss heads I get. Um, the quartz wrench does what the, any regular tech mod wrench would do. It rotates blocks and devices along the face. You right click and dismantle. Okay. Uh, compass. Okay. So the charger has several uses. For starters, we'll use this to make a meteorite compass. When supplied with power, the charger will also take Certus uh, Quartz crystals and charge them. These charged Certus crystals can then be used in the production of Fluix, another important resource in this mod. It can also be used to charge any item that stores power. Once you make the meteorite compass, it's time to find meteorites that contain Skystone. These can be either on the surface or underground and contain a mysterious cube in its center. This cube contains all of the different presses used in the inscriber to make AE2 special crafting components which we'll talk about in the next quest. Let's go ahead and plop this on down down here. I wanna see if this will actually like connect right there. Um, I do need to make that little ranch though cause I need to rotate that. We'll make that and then I, I found a couple mini, right? So I'm not too worried. Let's see, how do I make this? Uh, okay, we'll do one, two, three, four, five. Then it's like this. Boom. Cool. All right. So. Okay. So that doesn't actually connect to that power, I guess. So let's uh, just throw this right here for the time being. And then we'll just, um, we'll throw this into our chest right there. And also building gadget into the, uh, not chest, but the backpack. Um, and then I'm gonna throw this, uh, these coal ore right there. Um, Cause we have a couple meteorites. Like we have one right here, just to our west. So let's actually go over there. Um, we're gonna eat some food real quick. Cool, okay. Interestingly enough, I'm not entirely sure. Let's see. Strike, mirror, steed, shooter, jump. Okay. I reorganized a couple of those. Cause I did actually put a amplifier on my jumper. Again, though, I am lucky because I have a, oops, I do have um some beautiful bunny hoppers, bunny hopper, hopper slippers, bunny slippers, bunny slippers. Did I come in here already? I don't know if I've come in this one. No, I'm not. Where's the chest? Is there a chest? There it is. Uh, Shield Bash 3 and Curse of Binding. I don't really want that. don't really care for that. Okay. Let's go this way. Uh, so it's going to be to our south now, which is...
That's not south. <laughs> Adding the extract, or not the extract, but the amplify definitely uh, helps, but it does also cause some problems for me. I'm gonna, I might have to take that off. Actually, I don't know. Don't actually mind it too much. Where's the, this way? It's over here, okay, cool. Okay, now I'm gonna use this and we're going to do minor. So we can just grab all these. I don't have enough mine, okay. Uh, where's my minor one, hold on. <laughs> Bumper, shooter. Teed, Mage Light, Extract, Horsey. Okay, um. I think, oh, minor is 10, that's right. Um, well, that's pretty much gonna be that way, so it's fine. <laughs> Do need to get more, um,. More mana, which I'll have to figure out a good way to keep increasing my mana. Which I don't know if this is actually going to have anything in it. I don't even know what the Skystone. So Skystone seems nice. Assault. Oh, look, a chest. Ow. Ooh. I do like this. That's a pretty good chest. All right, so let's go back to my jumper one. All right, so let's, uh, that was pretty funny. Uh, let's go find another meteorite. Let's see here. There's one up to our northeast, which is this way. Yes. I love having the bunny slippers. Bunny hoppers. Whatever they're called, they're beneficial. That's all I gotta say. So, basically just to our north now. Pretty much follow this river and we should run into it. The Amplify definitely does a lot though. It, it, it boosts me on through. I do like that. I do need to get something that has better mana regen though. Um, Cause I'd actually like to be able to regenerate my mana rather quickly. Um, I don't know really a good source for that. So we'll uh, I'll do some research and try to find a good um, alternative for that. Cause honestly it's it'd be pretty Pretty convenient to have. All right, so let's do minor now. Block of coal. Okay, I do like I do like me some blocks of coal. Oh goodness, there's a lot of blocks of coal in here. Um, ooh. that should give me a pretty pretty penny of a lot of blocks of coal in this one. Actually, this is actually gonna be really beneficial. Does that give me anything other than? No, not really. Why haven't I been breaking these down early, like earlier than this? Huh, I don't know. Do I have any mana regen? I do not. It's fine. Everything is fine. Probably the pickup that's causing the, uh, the the heavy mana usage is fine. I don't mind it so much. Now I could just do this right here. 
doesn't really take too much out of me. But that does give me a lot of really good resources right there. I do like that. I do like that indeed. Oof. Okay, so I think we should be good for a little bit in terms of coal. So let's go ahead and uh, head on out of here. I think it's this way. That this is the way of my house. and I could just do this right here. The mm. All right, cool. So meteorites are good and all, but really not. <laughs> it filled me up. Um, so we're going to do this real quick and then pop more down right there. Um, more coal right there. And then more coal right there. I do need to upgrade that one here pretty soon because that's a lot of coal. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> My goodness. All right. Well, that's pretty good. I do like that. All right. So we're just going to throw you guys in there. Throw you guys in there. Um, yeah. So that's pretty good. Pretty good turn of events. I'm going to go let my dog out. So I'll be right back. I'll pause it one sec. Yeah, I'll be back. Okay, so now that we are back, um, I will continue looking for some meteorites because that's actually really, uh, really interesting that that does that. But I'll continue looking for meteorites, probably off recording. I kind of want to focus on the other aspects of things first. Um, oh, this is all good and all. And I definitely want more centralized storage because um, I, I will be running out, even though I haven't even finished this storage yet because I've just been getting a bunch of stuff um I do want to start looking at a couple other things too um I'm gonna go around I have a couple of these so let me do this real quick um I'm actually curious what drops those little berries I think all of these trees do if I'm not mistaken let me just do this and see what drops out of here yeah, because I want to eat, because I haven't eaten these. And then these will basically pretty much do exactly what, um, what I need them to do. Um, they'll provide me with more, uh, um, what's it called? Um, you know what I'm talking about. More hearts. Getting more hearts is beneficial. Can I cook these? Oh, because I'm not hungry. Duh. That's probably why. But we'll do this. For a second, I started. I thought it started pouring down rain. I was about to be like, oh, well, I got to go get her back. <laughs> um, so I got a couple ideas for what I'm going to do for the bee farm. Um, I'm going to actually uh, probably tear all this stuff down and then build it as a huge, like, kind of like, not all this stuff down, but all this stuff right here down. And then probably build like a huge like little outdoor area right here. Um, that's going to be like, it's going to be walled. But I think I might leave it open, open ceiling so that the, uh, the dudos can go and do their thing. All right. Assistant adding additional hearts. And this is the next one to eat. So we'll just kind of keep eating what we can. And I think what I can do is I can actually cook. I can't cook these. That's kind of sad. I was hoping I could cook these. Wait a minute, can I cook these? It doesn't actually do anything. Okay. Um, what's the next step? What's the next step, guys? Uh, let's see. I know I've been kind of wanting to focus on this stuff. Um, 
Where do I get these seeds from? Oh, I need the infusion crafting, which means I need to actually set that stuff up, which I don't think I'll do in this video. <laughs> Um, I was working on chapter two, so chapter two I think was uh, pretty pretty much tapped out for right now. What I might do is I might run down and start doing some more mining, because um, I'm actually curious to see. I do have my bow right there, uh, so I'll put you right there. Uh, let's see, I think that should be good. Let me, where did I put those? I put them right here, okay, cool. Um, I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to plop you back right there, because I'm not planning to go to the nether. I'm not going to say anytime soon, but probably not for a little bit. So let's let's actually go ahead and um, head down. This is another thing I'm going to start working on again. Um, I'm going to start doing more, uh, more stuff with ours. Um, I want I need to create one of these, because uh, I think this will be this will be a really good useful tool i've been watching some other youtubers playing this um and I, I do want to get more uh more stuff and i definitely want to try to go for these um the uh actual like uh mage robes but i think that will be something that we will do in due time um but the cool thing about this uh this mining one is I forgot I did that. <laughs> the cool thing about this mining, um, this mining one is that I can actually use it to, um, trying to see if there's any, uh, anything good down there. Oh, okay. Um, when I get down to the deep slate level, I can actually use it instead of my pickaxe to, uh, to mine. Um, and really the only time I would really need my pickaxe is if I'm doing anything for, um, If I'm doing anything for, um, look, what is this? <laughs> I don't remember doing this. Um, the cool thing about the mining or the, uh, what's it called? Oh, wow. Hello. Okay. So we're, we're going to try to find another place to mine. Cause I, I feel like I've not utilize all those resources or like got all the resources there's a lot of stuff probably down there probably a lot of diamonds and everything too um but i'm wanting to do like find a place that i haven't really mined it yet um to show you but i can use this mining thing to mine through deep slate without worrying about it you know degrading my tools so what we'll do here is i will probably actually go to one of the waystones and then start mining over there um and another big thing that we will need to do here soon is more than likely start doing... I'm going to go to gatekeeper number two. Uh, another thing that we're really going to need to start doing is um, increasing the size of our bag. Um, I feel like that would be probably really beneficial because it's only a gold right now. Probably need to make that a diamond one here pretty soon. So let's go ahead and throw our jumper back up um, and we'll go uh, probably north here. So let's, uh, let's head on north and see where we can go from there, what we can do. Um, see if we can find a little mine mining area. I do like all this stone that's covered in... What is this? Whee. All right, little mining area. Let's see. No, okay. I don't want to get into the glacier area right here. This might be a good place. This might be a really good place. Um, let's throw my miner on. Okay, that's my mining... Uh, so my mining thing on. Um, the cool part is with this, I can actually um, more. <laughs> with this, I can actually be at a distance and actually uh, shoot and collect the uh, the material. Like with that copper right there, I would collect it. Um, and of course, it does. I don't know. I don't know what I was going where I was going with that. Um, anyway, uh, let's see. That's I don't I don't really know what that's used for. Um, Ooh. Just water down there, okay. Let's see. One, I do need to collect more copper. All right, so I'm not entirely sure. Uh, we'll just kind of keep going and see what we can find here. 
Oh, well, that wasn't on me then. All right, what is this? So this stuff right here, I'm not 100% sure what it's used for, um, but it probably wouldn't hurt to grab some. I'm not gonna waste my mana on um, that stuff. Okay. All right, I'm not gonna waste my mana right now on coal because I do have quite a bit of coal. Um, Viridium's right there. Is that a, what is that in the water right there? Not entirely sure. There is a uh, thing over there though. There's a chest on it. There's another little thingy over there. Cool, let's see what we got. We got iron, melon seeds, rotten flesh. Got another pickaxe, another one of these. We got a fire crystal, a raw fire shard, and then a cracked guardian gem. Sweet. Okay, so let's go over here to this little bad boy. Uh, there we go. Right on top. Perfect, okay. And then we'll just pop you right there. We'll grab you. And then we'll just drop on in. This doesn't have, I don't have to worry about the uh, Frostwalker. I don't know what that does. Freezes surface. Oh, that's cool. Oh, wait a minute. Freezes surfaces on water and lava. Oh, that's cool. Go this way. There are some pigs below me. God, this is such a useful Tool. All right, amount of mana. Mana regen is going to be probably a critical thing to uh to aim for, but that's kind of where these robes come into play. When I'm really using my mana, um, having those robes can provide a decent amount of mana regen. Um, I'm not saying like they're going to be like crazy high mana regen, but mana regen enough to where it will, uh, it'll be pretty convenient overall. So I'm gonna sleep here once I, once it comes nighttime, eventually, just spam right click. Eventually it will let me sleep. Sunset, come on, thank you. <laughs> just little bunny slippers, I love it. So that basically just goes outside. That's right. I think I have a little bit of that. Yeah. I'm actually just. I'm really just hoping to get a. To get some more um. Ores that I don't have a lot of, including diamond, including diamond. Um. It'll just take. I think it'll just take some time. Honestly. There's a house right there. I think that might be a... I want to say that's probably going to be... Oh, that's a gatekeeper. I wonder if this gatekeeper has the... Uh, um, Ever Bright or Ever Dawn. We will find out. If he even has it in his... Oh, it's going to be upstairs up here. He has Ever Bright. Sweet. Just what I wanted. All right. Uh, let's do minor. Okay, cool. So now we have enough to make a Everbright portal, which we didn't before, so that's good. Um, I haven't eaten bread yet? <laughs> what? <laughs> I haven't eaten bread yet. <laughs> That's weird. I was not expecting that. I thought I've already eaten bread, but whatever, it's fine. Okay, let's see here. Do I have my jumper on? I do. Actually, I can go north. Another little uh base right there. Oh gosh. Alright, let's see here. We got some Uranite, soapstone. Did I say uranite? 
<laughs> say you're you're Ananite. You're you're Ananite. I don't I don't know. I'm not questioning it. Uh, let's see. More coal, zinc, zinc, red zebra ore. Ooh, yes, I haven't eaten some of these yet. Ow. Look, I don't, I don't know. All right, doing my best. All right, more copper. I do like. I do need some more copper. Niter. I don't know what niter, and I'm really not 100 percent convinced on what aluminum does. And I know that's. It's aluminium. No, it's spelled aluminum. Um, more copper over here that I just jumped over. All right. Who? What is this? Crystal. See, this is what I love. I can just hit that from here, and then I get the uh, the material from it. That's so. That's so convenient. I do, I do love this, uh, how easy and how convenient this, uh, our, uh, our new wall is. New bow, new view. I think I have enough tin, honestly. Right now, at least. Um, let's see. Is this iron? I don't need iron. I really don't need any iron. <laughs> so, if you're just now getting started on this mod pack, I would 100% recommend look for ways to get started in the uh in the um 100% look for ways to get started in the um scared the crap out of me um in the uh easy villager stuff primarily because of how convenient it is appetite raw zinc no ma'am um, Easy Villager is so useful. I got more hearts. Yay! Okay, cool. So that that that's good. So we're we're learning. So the the hearts come from food. In case you weren't tracking that already. <laughs> there is a. I think I have not gone there yet. Compelling to life stealing. Uh, ooh, okay, cool. I do like that. Ah, uh, there we go. Cool. Okay, so I'm. This is so. This is so cool. Okay. Um. I don't think I can destroy the. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I don't think I can destroy destroy the um destroy the chest. Yeah, breaking the chest will delete your unique loot and all items in the chest. In order to break, you must sneak while doing so, as loot is per player per chest. Only break if really needed. That's cool. I'll take you though, and I'll take some redstone as well. All right. A redstone block. I need as much redstone as I can get. Okay, so it's this one. Conveniently, they only have. Uh, Oh, one of the, oh, somebody just threw a thing at me, trying to hit me with a spell or with a potion. Come here, buddy. This is not cheating. Mm 
I'm actually curious, my minor one. I'm gonna pick up break. Okay. These dudes do have a lot of freaking health though. It is convenient having a, a book that doesn't have any durability. <laughs> This is so cheese. I don't actually know what is in that chest and I'm actually really curious to find out what's in that chest. Okay, so I can just do this right here. Actually, I see one right there. And they're gonna come right here. They can't jump up here. Now we'll put the broken spawner right there. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, let's see here. Oh man. Oh man. Wasting mana over here. Stop moving. We'll just stand right there. Perfectly still. here is I'm going to do this and then I'm going to get ready with this right here and then do I have any do I have more stuff that I can put down I have you I have you I'm not using you um, I don't really have anything else that I could really put down just yet Okay, um, beautiful. So we'll just go home now. It is nighttime, and we have a lot of stuff that we can just throw into it, uh, our chests here. It is basically pretty much time for us to, uh, Call it quits. So let's uh, throw all this stuff in here. Uh, let's see here. I'm actually going to do this right here. I'm going to throw you right there and you right there. I don't have anything in the bundle. I don't really care for the gems all that much. I could probably just 
do this right here and then do that and then that again and then come back from my bundle wherever you were at right there uh you 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 i think that's good on that aspect let's see i knew i had something somewhere okay um Where's that gem? There it is. And we'll do this right here. I'm going to throw you right there because I don't really... I don't think it'll be of any benefit. So we'll throw this stuff in here for the time being. I know its organization has just gone out the window. I don't really care. <laughs> All right. Leave me alone. I'm doing my best. Okay. Well, so we'll go to sleep now. Um, yeah, so we'll go ahead and end this video here. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Really didn't do anything, and I apologize for that. Um, there really wasn't much for me to do. Um, I'm just, again, trying to learn more about what this stuff is and kind of get my get my bearing right. So we'll work through as much as we can. We'll continue kind of going from there. I'll continue doing a bunch of, uh, um, bunch of exploration and everything. Um, chapter 2 pretty much is the next big step to take to complete we're pretty much done here with chapter one we just have two more things we have to finish up and i feel like after that point we'll, we'll probably be uh, we'll probably be okay um but i will start looking at some of these other mod packs that i haven't like bigger reactors and uh some bit more somewhere in terms of the basic power stuff but i feel like that's more more stuff that I, i'll want to do a little bit later on um after i get a little bit more a uh, little bit more strength behind me um, but with that being said, though, guys, thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. And make sure to hit that thumbs up button if you haven't already. And also, please hit that subscribe button. It absolutely means the world to me, and it does so much for this channel. So, of course, with that being said, thank you guys again, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.